Hey guys, good morning. It's Heiko. We're at my messy desk and today the day has come where I can finally upgrade the graphics card in my desktop computer and this computer serves all kinds of purposes so I do my video editing on it let my kids game on it we use it for normal desktop purposes uh, paying bills doing word processing and all that other stuff I posted a video when I put this computer together since then I've done a, a, a few slight upgrades I've switched from a Ryzen 5 3500 to a Ryzen 5 3600 and then later on to a Ryzen 7 3700X I've also added um, another NVMe SSD in there. Uh, it's a B550 ASRock uh, Micro ATX board that has two uh, NVMe slots. One is a PCI Express uh, fourth gen and one is a third gen. So I actually put a fourth gen NVMe in there uh, to just have more drive speed when I do video editing. So for the the cache and the proxy files of that video editing uh, software. I use a really fast drive uh, to get a little bit more speed out of the editing. But really what let this computer down is the old graphics card that I left in there. When I put this computer together uh, during the Scalpocalypse, I wasn't able to, at least not for a reasonable price, buy a modern graphics card. And so I transferred a three gigabyte version of a 1060, a GTX 1060 MSI single fan card for my old computer into this one. And you know, it's, it's still serving its purpose. And uh, there are still lots of gamers out there that play uh, all kinds of computer games with a 1060, maybe a six gigabyte version, which is probably the more desirable one. But the uh, three gigabyte version was the only one that I could purchased back in the days, I think about two years ago, the computer came together about a year ago. And now finally, I was able to acquire a 3060 MSI. Let me show you. This puppy here. Um, I don't want to do any kind of performance reviews and run benchmarks and whatnot, and then tell you what of an upgrade from a 1060 three gigabyte to this one here. This is the uh, MSI Ventus times two RTX 3060 with uh, 12 gigabytes of VRAM. I don't, you know, we don't need to do that. Linus Tech Tips uh, did a comparison between a, a 1060, a 2060 and a 3060. And they had this very card in this comparison. So you can look up all kinds of performance data. But what I want to see is if we run the computer, do a benchmark, something simple, something, um, let's do a uh, 3D Mark Time Spy, run it on the computer with an old graphics card, and plug just the computer power supply into a watt meter and see what the power consumption is while we're doing that. Then we're going to switch from the old MSI graphics card to the new one and do the same thing and see what the power consumption is. Because the 3060, the reason why I picked this and not a 3070 or 3080, of course, is price. Uh, but secondly, also um, efficiency, how much performance you can get per watt. Uh, it seems like the higher you go into the performance range, like let's say a 3080 or 3090, of course, they are more powerful than this graphics card. But um, the increase in, in performance has a massive increase in power consumption as well. So I think this is a pretty good compromise. I have a extension cord here so that we can put the watt meter right in here. All right guys, so now we have a computer plugged in. I have the watt meter sitting right here so you can see the readouts that we currently get. And we're just gonna run a simple benchmark uh, that will give us some sort of performance figure and a wattage readout and a temperature maybe of the GPU. So 
So now we're just going to the high page, wattage high. So we should be just seeing the highest number, not, not the up and down. Alright guys, um, so Time Spy went through once, a total or the highest uh, power consumption we saw was 234.7 watts and we have a uh, score of 4378 and graphic score is almost 4000. So now I'm going to switch the cards around, I, I'm not going to bore you guys with that and then we're going to run this one more time, look at the power consumption changes and the final score. Okay, so I already have the case open, the 1060 is out, this is the puppy, a little dusty, needs another clean soon. And now let's just open this one up. It's the OC edition, yes. And it's a 12 gigabyte VRAM version, which is definitely gonna help me with video editing in DaVinci, in DaVinci Resolve. So, empty box. And here we go, nicely packed up. Oh no, is this a love letter from MSI? I guess the quick user guide is in this huge black MSI envelope. All right, we don't need that. And there she is. Yeah. I guess um, uh, I guess we can leave most of them in here. I'm only using one display port. I don't know if it's good this one or that one. I just use one. You gotta plug in the PCI Express power connector, eight pin. It's important. So we have the eight pin connector now connected. The uh, old card only used a six pin connector. And now we can try this again. Okay, here we go. So now we're going back to the high function. Low and high, we're already 164 without any change of adjustments here or settings, just right out of the box. It should tell us what kind of graphics card we have. So that's, yeah, and it's reminding me. So now we have a GeForce RTX 3060 and the uh, rest hasn't changed. All right, and there we go.
So the graphics score went from 3,999 to 8,549. So that's definitely a significant improvement. Our total score here went over uh, from a little over 4,000 to over 8,000. GPU temp, the highest that we see here is like in the 70s. And the CPU temperature was 53. So 73 degrees. Now yeah, that's pretty good. So as you can see, we have a significant performance uptick, also a little bit more power consumption than the 1063 gigabyte, but I guess that was to be expected. But yeah, we uh, more than doubled our, at least the time spy score. So that's uh, the simple upgrade of a GPU from a three generation old card to a current generation uh, 30 series RTX card. And I've been waiting for this upgrade for almost two years. And the cards have been so ridiculously expensive because of the scalpocalypse and all the uh, uh, chip shortage and the uh, cryptocurrency mining. And I don't know if it's over, but uh, at least the prices have come down significantly. I bought this for $386, which is uh, still slightly above MSRP, but uh, significantly below scalpocalypse prices. I've seen the 3060 cards in the seven eight hundred dollar range, and that was just there was no way that I would spend that kind of money. Alrighty, guys, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for supporting this channel. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Give me a thumbs up if you like this little video, and I will see you in the next one. You guys take care. Bye.